It's a very cyclical industry, it requires a lot of hard work, but you want to live life, you want to live life to the fullest. I think it's important that people have the opportunity and have the time to do that because life is too short, right? I'm uh, John Lindsay, President and CEO for Helmrich & Payne. Of course, living in Tulsa, growing up in Tulsa, uh, you're, you're obviously exposed to, to the oil and gas business. So I graduated with a degree in computer science, and, and uh, what I realized real quickly is that wasn't what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, and so I decided to go back to school, go to the University of Tulsa, I uh, got a degree in petroleum engineering. 1986, the year I graduated, the rig count was in the 600 to 800 range during the course of the year. That's, that was down from like 4,200 in 1981. Uh, I think in, uh, at the beginning of, of 87, when I started with the company, oil was trading at $18. I think I had 100 uh, graduates that I, uh, I graduated with from TU. I think six or seven of us got jobs. You know, I didn't obviously know all the details about the company then like I do now, but what I did know is they had, they had a great reputation. As a new employee coming in, uh, as an engineer, you know, the first thing you do is you, is you go out and you roughneck. So to say that I didn't have some apprehension, uh, I'd never worked on a rig. I had several blue collar type jobs, you know, but nothing like roughnecking. And so it's very hard to prepare yourself for that. You know, so I started off as a floor hand and worked my way up to, you know, various positions, ultimately ended up being a driller. And I think it's, it's, it's really the most valuable time uh, that I could have spent early in my career. And I think you build relationships along the way that you actually end up relying on later in your career. That my first driller, uh, Vic Garcia. It was somebody that I could always pick up the phone and say, hey, Vic, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Because you, you develop uh, those, those close relationships. What you find out very early is that you have people, even if they're not your official mentor, they're looking out for you, right? But I hear from a lot of other people that when they come to H&P, this is different than other companies that I've worked at. As I think back, this was Mr. Helmrich's uh, uh, office, so Hans's father, uh, Walt Helmrich III. And it was the last meeting I ever had with him. And I, I came in to talk with him thinking I was gonna talk about business. And we spent 30 minutes talking about family and the importance of, of family. And I tell our folks all the time, we literally spend more time at h &P with our coworkers than we do with our families. But you really need to get to the point where it feels more like a family atmosphere because you don't want to go someplace every day and it be a grudge, you know, just drudgery, you know, day in and day out. That's where teamwork comes into play, right? I think one of the things is that as you think about the decisions that we're making and the things that we're doing, we're doing it in support of the strategy as we move forward. It's not about individualism. You know, it's not about what's best for John. It's what's best for the overall team. And I think, you know, that's the kind of environment that I want to work in. <laughs>